Are you excited? Are you? Cause I'm like super excited. Let's get started. watching me or my channel just make sure you go ahead click the subscribe button click that notification bell all that good stuff I would love to have you join the family also make sure you're following me on Instagram at Camellia Yvette okay I think that's all I have to say so yeah just make sure you're subscribed and you're following me anyway we're gonna go ahead and get started with this video because I this is like I don't know fancy has came to save 2020 and the makeup game okay so today we're going to talk about obviously the Fenty Beauty new powder foundation. You guys, I've been waiting on Fenty to come out with the powder foundation. I just did a video on the lip creams. So if you guys haven't seen me do or the gloss balm creams, if you guys missed that video, I'll link it up here so you can check it out. But like Fenty just be coming with the heat, man. Anything Rihanna drop, I'm buying like period, period, okay? So this is the powder foundation. It's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation is what it's called. I actually ordered it on Sephora's website like Christmas night because it was available. And then um, the mail said it wasn't going to get here until like January 5th. And I was like, girl, we ain't waiting that long. So I ended up getting my butt up and going to the store in the middle of a snowstorm to go get this for y'all. I'm saying, I just give it a thumbs up just because of that, okay? <laughs> So I got my same color, which is number 370. This is how the packaging looks. Very true to Fenty packaging here. And this retails for, let me pull out my phone because I'm going to read y'all the claims too. All right, so this powder foundation retails for $36. And like I said, I did stick with my same shade, which is 370. They have um, 50 shades in this foundation as well, which is the same amount of shades that they have in the um, hydrating foundation as well as the matte foundation. So I'm going to read you some of the claims. It says... This is a light as air powder foundation that gives you light to full coverage with a soft matte finish. It has medium, well, okay. So it says it gives you light to full coverage, but then under coverage it says it's medium. So we'll test that out. It's a matte finish and it's free of parabens and also vegan, gluten free, and also cruelty free. It says the powder delivers a non-cakey blurred finish with no flashback. The buildable light to full coverage formula loves to be layered without settling into fine lines or clogging the look of pores. It's also sweat, humidity, and crease resistant. Plus, it has a chic portable compact. So that is the claims of the foundation. A lot of big claims there. We're gonna wear it throughout the day. It's already two o'clock, so it's gonna be a little later of a wear test, but I have a lot to do today, so it's fine. So we're gonna wear it throughout the day. We're gonna see how it wears, see how it looks, and we're gonna talk about it. Just opening it up, it looks, the color, look, the color actually looks a little light. Just a tad bit light, but We'll see how it goes. I get really pale in the winter, so that's fine. And then you get a mirror and then also a little compact that I probably will never use. So this is what it looks like. So you get two mirrors in there actually. But this is a really nice chic compact that you can probably take with you for touch-ups and things like that. So how we're gonna do this today, I was gonna do a full Fenty face, but I also wanna try this layered on top of the Fenty foundation to see how that works. So we're gonna save the full Fenty face for another day. I'm gonna do that soon. So today I'm gonna use other makeup and see how it plays with other makeup, all right? I'm gonna do my standard powder foundation routine. I did a video on that, I believe, this summer. So I'll make sure that is linked up here so you guys can check that out if you wanna see like the full routine because I'll probably speed through it today. But... Is that all I got to say? I think that's all I got to say. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. And I'm going to use like my favorite primer lately, which is the Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Primer. I feel like these companies never come out with like the products when we need it. Like we needed this in hot ass July and August and they come out with it in 
December, damn near January, when obviously we're not sweating as much, you know. I still stand for a matte finish, honey, but I just feel like I could have used this in like May. So that way I could have had it all summer, you know what I'm saying? Just my observations. But we're gonna go ahead and conceal now. I'm going to use my Hourglass. This is my concealer in the shade Beach. And I'm just going to conceal really quickly up under the eyes. One thing I do love about powder foundation is how easy it is. I feel like anyone can use powder foundation and I mean look amazing. I really, really do. That was a lot of concealer, but we're going to blend it out. I'm going to grab this ColourPop setting powder in banana and I'm going to set the concealer. Alright, let's move into the star of the show. Again, this is the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 370. I'm going to take this brush. This is by NYX. This is their number 37 like iconic foundation brush. I like to take a more dense brush when I'm trying to get a little coverage. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to start where the powder, what is this? Where the setting powder meets like my actual skin and I'm just gonna start there and I'm not gonna go over the entire setting powder oh this color is actually perfect I don't need it any darker it is actually pretty perfect I like to go in circles And FYI, the denser your brush, the more coverage you're gonna get. So if you pick like a looser bristled brush, like something like this, your coverage isn't going to be as heavy. pretty she's cute okay all right what do you guys think I think this color is perfect so I haven't watched any reviews on this powder foundation I know nothing about this powder foundation right now okay you guys I try to keep my nose out of the reviews so I can have an unbiased opinion for you guys so right now I am seeing that let's get close I feel like it's definitely like covered my pores my face looks pretty flawless and poreless and it's matte but it's not super drying it doesn't look super drying and it definitely gave me coverage I don't know about full but I'm seeing a really nice medium coverage here oh looks good it doesn't look cakey I think I'm here for it I think I am here for it so far with the first impressions now we gotta wear this throughout the day I'm gonna try to get y'all at least six to seven hours wear maybe even longer I can probably go a little longer but I don't see any issues right now it blended out well it wasn't like that stiff powder that it was hard to move around and blend out so that was good yeah I don't see any issues right now so I'm going to finish my face and I'll be right back
powder look super quick super easy that is why i love me a good powder foundation so i'm hoping this is one that i can definitely turn to on those days where i'm like i need to have my makeup done in five minutes okay so this is how it came out it's so beautiful i will make sure all the products that i use are listed down below in the description box per usual and ooh, i'm liking this look right now i am loving these new fenty gloss bomb creams this is the one in cookie jar i used today y'all so um but anyway the time now is 2 30 on the dot can i see that it's 2 30 on the dot and i'm gonna try to keep this makeup on until about 9 30 10 o'clock for y'all i'll be keeping my makeup on that late so i'm doing that for y'all all right so i'm gonna try to keep it that long just so i can give you guys a good gauge of what we are looking like but right now i mean my skin feels really really good it feels very lightweight i don't even feel it on my face um so i think that's a good thing i'm excited to see how it wears so make sure you guys stay tuned i will be checking in with you throughout the end or throughout the day that's what i'm trying to say i'll be checking in with you throughout the day <laughs> hey guys what's up it is 4 49 in the p.m so about two hours a little over two hours after we applied this powder foundation this is how we're looking in natural light as you can see i'm in the car with mark say hey you ain't been on my channel in a while so um yeah, I'm in the car with Mark and we're headed to grab some food and also grab our kids. But I just wanted to show you guys what the foundation was looking like. So right now, I feel like it's like, I feel like it looks like my typical powder foundation, which I feel like, which is, I don't know if it's kind of weird, but powder foundation gets oilier quicker on me. And so that's why I don't wear powder foundation for a long, long periods of time because it just doesn't last on my face as long. And I don't know if that's the case with everyone, but it's totally the case with me. And this is kind of going for that typical format. So as you can see, first of all, it doesn't look bad right now. I haven't blotted or anything. It's only been two hours. It doesn't look bad. It just looks lived in and worn. And that's kind of the the feel that i like i actually like it when it gets like this and it's not super matte because this is a regular normal face in my opinion this is how my face is going to look most of the day and i like this look so um that's what we what we dealing with this is a close and personal shot right there but yeah i just wanted to check in in natural light it's getting dark but hopefully you guys can get a good gauge from here so I'll check in a bit later with you hey guys what's up I am back with the final review for this Fenty pro filter powder foundation so it is now 9 15 your girl went the distance for y'all all right it's 9 15 p.m. I haven't left my makeup on this long in a while so um I've been like looking at this foundation, monitoring it, going back and forth. I've been out in the elements. I've been um, at home cleaning up and all that stuff. So I've been doing a lot. So we're just gonna talk about how this wore. I have not touched it at all. And as you can see, it actually looks pretty good. Now I only have my ring light on. Usually I have two other lights coming at me from both sides, but today I only put my ring light on. And that's just because I want it to look as natural as possible. I don't want all of the artificial lights to really I guess blind it out blind out the color and the actual texture of it so so here we are after what is that seven hours of wear I have not touched it at all and this is what we look like I mean I think it looks really really good to be honest I am not as oil I feel like I told y'all I feel like I'm more oily with powder foundation sometimes at the end of the day than with liquid foundations and maybe that's just because it's starting to fade away and my oils it doesn't have as much to hold my oils in but with this foundation it actually looks really good like Fenty can do no wrong I feel like I should be on their payroll because everything they do is just amazing to me so I am loving the finish of this foundation even right now haven't touched it and I don't even have have, okay maybe right here I have a little bit of a motivation to kind of touch this up right here but that's always but other than that I feel like my face looks good like I said in the last clip that I showed you guys it just looks super worn in so I love that and I, I love how I have a really natural face here like I'm filling this powder foundation I cannot wait to see how it plays with the other Fenty products. We are going to do a whole full face of Fenty coming up very soon because I just, this foundation is everything. So let's go over the claims and then we'll come back and I'll give my final, final thoughts. 
So first of all, let's talk about the shade. I know I had I had a little bit of reservations about the shade when I first started to apply it, but I think I told you guys that the shade is actually perfect. It definitely matches me. I am a 370 in all Fenty products, and this is no different. Like this shade is it's perfect. There's no I I, I heard some things that the shades may not match, but my shade matches perfectly. So I can I feel like confidently say if you're a 370. In the other fancy complexion products that you'll probably be a 370 in this powder foundation so it claims to be a medium to full coverage I feel like it was more so on the medium side I did try to build it up a little bit I could have tried a little more but I felt most comfortable on the medium side I felt like putting any more on my face would really make it look a little cakey so I didn't want to do that so we stuck with um, the medium coverage but it looks perfect for everyday wear it also says it's light as air and it's definitely very comfortable very light wearing I love that about the foundation I love a foundation that I just don't have to think about that I can kind of throw on and go and it really just evens out my complexions and blurs out my skin tone gives me a filtered look that's Fenty's whole claim to fame is that all of their products are the pro filter products and I definitely see that in my complexion when I applied this foundation and even as it wore throughout the day soft matte non cakey finish as far as non cakey it didn't look cakey at first and it doesn't look cakey now but I'm not gonna say it's the most skin like foundation it's not cakey but it's not the most skin like foundation and I find that most powder foundations are not the most skin like foundations unless we're talking about something that's like super light in coverage that really you're just throwing on as kind of a sheer powder um, those are the only ones that I've really found to be completely not cakey and just more so skin like so I mean take that as you will but it's, it's not the most skin like foundation as far as sweat and humidity we didn't really have like a, a hot day I mean it's a cold day so I couldn't really test the sweat and humidity proof the crease proof um, I, I don't see any creasing of the foundation but normally I don't with powder foundations I feel like they fade away before they get a chance to crease and um, talking about fading away let's just get I still have the foundation on like everywhere I definitely still have the foundation on I usually fade away first in the nose area so like on this side on this side and then a little bit at the top of my nose and I can still see the foundation so that is again always a really good thing I don't see though I guess I see a tiny bit of my blush. I feel like I don't see much more of my other makeup that was on, but I mean, this video isn't about that, but I, I don't really see much more of the other makeup that was on my face. Oh, and the last claim about flashback, no flashback. I'm gonna put some photos up on the screen. So I did do a flash test with my phone and there was no flashback. So that was also a claim that Fenty killed. So all in all, clearly I love this foundation. Clearly I would recommend this foundation if you were looking for another powder foundation. Now something that I've been doing in my mind as I buy products is thinking about if I would like reach for this product over the other foundations that I have because I do have a good amount of powder foundations as you guys know so what I reach for this over my other powder foundations I feel like I have two powder foundations that I absolutely absolutely love one is the Urban Decay Stay Naked and the other is the Estee Lauder powder foundation those are my two favorite powder foundations does this catapult itself above those two I'm gonna have to keep wearing it. I'm gonna have to keep wearing it. Those two definitely have more coverage than this one in my opinion and I just love them so much. So I would still say this one's in third place today but we're gonna keep wearing it and we'll see. And of course I'll keep you guys updated if there are any major breakthroughs with this product. So that is it you guys, that is all for this video. I hope this video was helpful for you and you enjoyed. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.